DJ Rain, I gotta talk to you because we've been having some problems with this uh, commentator tournament that you've been in. Oh man, what what's what's going on? Well, we got this message from uh, oh, we'll just play the video. Play the video, Lucy. Wrong video. Wrong video. Ah, uh, it's come to my attention that you had some choice words for your president of the United States of America. What is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Obama did this, man. Obama don't want me to win. I get it. It makes so much sense now. Obama, I got you. Uh, you see, with that statement, you embarrassed me in front of the entire dickhead nation. Well, I want to embarrass you in front of the real nation. All you have to do is go up against my Chicago Bulls. This is our first game up against a team on on Sunday afternoon. It's going to be on national television. So, man, don't don't embarrass us, man. All right, y'all. We on big time TV. That means big time groupies watching. They don't have Derrick Rose. We need a win. Let's do it. A riveting speech by Jay Rain, but check out the newest members of the Chicago Bulls. See, these two are two free agents signed to one-day contracts, and today is their time to shine. And take a look at Jay Rain. He looks like he saw a ghost. All it is is just two young guys trying to live their dream in the NBA, and I hope they do good. Are you two out of your minds? That's clearly the real LeBron. It's Bulls coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not have to adjust your television sets. We know the Lakers heat game that was scheduled for today was very anticipated, but it had to be canceled for technical reasons. But oh, do we have a treat for you as Jay Rain gets a jump shot to fall. That's right. We have Rookie of the Year candidate Jay Rain going up against some of the newest members of the NBA here. One of them actually has the ball right now. He's making a move to the rack. What a move. You have two problems right now. First off, you're going to have to introduce us. Go ahead. I was getting to it, Steve. I'm Bob with my colleagues Steve and Jay Smith and Bobby Arado. Thank you. And now the second thing, that man right there is not a Rookie of the Year candidate. He's Rookie of the Year definitely. Look at that. You would have a point, Steven. Only problem he is, I like the way that these new LeVron guy look. He, he might get the rookie of the year. That's a valid assessment as Jay Rain gets the assist. I had to get a sip of water. Did you just say this new LeVron guy? Kobe gets the three. Did you just say this new LeVron guy? As if, as if these clearly aren't the people that we already know. Kobe gets the jam on an assist by Nate Robinson. Nate has five. Another steal by Kobe Bryant up to LeBron James. Dunking it down hard. So you're just not going to respond to what I just said just now? Take a look at that vertical. You see, if this LeBron kid tries hard enough, he could be something good in this league. Kobe as well as he gets the jam there. As you see a plethora of steals, you see the Hornets have kind of getting to a slump. But look at number 14 driving and he's not going out without a fight. Getting the bucket and the foul. A great move, but are you guys crazy? That's Kobe Bryant. From the Lakers, that's clearly Kobe. Mr. 81, Ocho, Neo, Vino, Mamba. No, 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 Steven. That Kobe's name is spelled with a K, and I think he got a piece of that shot just there. And now look at him. He's, put, he's putting the moves on Eric Gordon. Look at the footwork of this young man. I really am enjoying watching this kid. Kobe Bryant, look at all the fundamentals that he's putting on with the ball. Look, he's, he's putting on a clinic of perfect basketball. You dumbasses are insane. Oh, Steven, you're right. That pass by LeBron was insane. Look at the finesse he puts on it right around his head. This is great. Jordan draws a double team here. They're just they're moving the ball around. They're on the bad end of a run here as Anthony Davis gets the dunk. And here comes number 14 pulling up for three. Yes! Not the smartest play. I think they left too much time on the clock for their opponent. We're about to find out. LeBron contested three. Oh! This arena is silent at the end of the third. And not rookies. What are you talking no about? No time for your nonsense, Steven. The Hornets got a steal. Jay Rain gets the dunk. 
dunk and the foul. My nonsense. Really? I don't even know how this works. How, how does this even a part of the rules? Well, Steven, in the rules, anybody can sign a free agent. They're, 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 they're not free agents, though. They're superstars. I have no idea what Steven's problem is, but I understand the Bulls have a problem. Oh, 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 what a jam. And the Bulls need a timeout. Now, let's listen in to what Tom Thibodeau has to say. You all remember what Obama told us? Cut the head off the snake. That doesn't sound like typical Thibodeau. Wait, Obama? Wait, if, if Obama is behind this, this could... Stephen might have been right. Hold... Wait a second, what do you mean? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no call on the foul. LeBron on the other end. The Bulls have won it. But at what cost? This is your president speaking. Fuck you thought this was, my nigga. You can't touch this. Peace. When the Bengals find themselves in a sticky situation, they know to dial 42. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, ace attorney. Today's online matchup pits him up against a former client of his, the New England Patriots, led by none other than Tom Brady. Will Ben Jarvis find his way out of this one? Court is now in session. After a holding penalty, Ben Jarvis begins his opening statement, weaving his way through the Patriots defense for a big gain. And of course the Bengals go right back to their ace attorney and let him go to work. A screen pass allows Ben Jarvis to pick up huge ground on the case. And like any good ace attorney, you must always have an ace up your sleeve. Ben Jarvis calls Bernard Scott to the stand, and he gashes straight through a hole in the Patriots' defense, putting them in a tight spot early in the trial. Our hero comes through yet again with a brilliant opening statement. Now Tom Brady and the Patriots are ready to offer their rebuttal. Objection! And he makes a poor decision to attack Manny Lawson like that. The evidence was totally against Brady, and Manny just lurked, waiting for his opportunity to counter. Now will the Bengals capitalize? Terror strikes the Bengals as they fumble on the delivery of their reply, and the Patriots recover. Tom Brady takes the floor again and brings a witness with him. Rob Gronkowski is unleashed and begins to smash his way through whatever defense the Bengals can muster. Our hero might be put in a tight spot here if the Bengals can't find an answer. But the Bengals defense puts up a fight with their backs against the wall, forcing the Patriots into a fourth down situation. Wait, what's this? The Patriots are going for it. No regard for order, Brady makes the Bengals defense break as they pick up the first down. And after failing on third down again, they convert on fourth down once more, this time for the score, and the judge allows it. This trial is all square again, and it looks like the judge is just going to let these two duke it out on the floor. What will Ben Jarvis do? He calls on Andy Dalton. The ace attorney assures Andy that he will protect him and be there to bail him out of any situation. With that assurance, Dalton and our hero go back and forth, puncturing holes in the case. And the two of them finally find a huge gaping hole in the Patriots' defense, leaving Ben Jarvis wide open for a huge counter-strike that stuns the court and jury. As the Patriots try to tighten up and key in on Ben Jarvis, he does what the best attorneys do. Find the holes, no matter how tight, go through, and make your point. The Bengals take control again. But Tom Brady comes right back and exposes the Bengals again, exploiting Rob Gronkowski, who they can't find an answer for. And with that huge advantage on their side, the Patriots quickly even the score before the recess. This could spell doom for Ben Jarvis as Tom Brady will open the second half. Objection! That is unless Manny Lawson has something to say about it. Lawson catches Brady in the act yet again and lays down the law. And our hero goes back to work, shredding his way through the Patriots and making them pay for coming out of the recess with such a weak attack. The ace attorney strikes gold again. Now can the Bengals defense shut the case? Objection! And they do! Order in the court! Objection overruled! The judge finally steps in, but in favor of New England. Looks like since he will have to let Brady offer a counter, and of course, he goes right back to Gronkowski, who they can't figure out. I'm surprised the Patriot Act hasn't been put into effect with the way he's terrorized the Bengals. Once more, the defense has a chance to put an end to this, but they give up too much ground to Brandon Lloyd, who's called on to pick up the first down. But this is where the Bengals have been at their best, with their backs against the wall. First and goal, they stop the run and make the Patriots stumble back. 
second and goal. Brady tries to force the issue and somehow gets off scot-free with a huge mistake. Third and goal. The Patriots try to slip their way through any crack they can find, but the Bengals' defensive wall stands strong. Fourth and goal. Brady is denied his claim of the end zone, and the Bengals shut them down. Now, it all comes down to Ben Jarvis. And he doesn't go far as the Patriots quickly make a stand of their own. But Green Ellis has one last ace up his sleeve. A taste of the Patriots' own medicine. They go for it on fourth down now and catch the Patriots off guard. They never saw it coming and couldn't adjust in time. Ben Jarvis beats them at their own game. And now he's gotcha, you son of a bitch. The Bengals wisely put the rest of the game in Green Ellis' hands, and he winds the clock down on the Patriots. Andy Dalton takes his knee, ruling in favor of the Bengals. Case closed. Just another day at the office for Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, Ace Attorney.